Hi and welcome to The Honest Channel. I'm Claire Johnston on a mission to share information around how to look and feel good for as long as possible. Now, three years ago on this channel, when I was just starting to turn my attention to anti-aging skin treatments, I reviewed the Nera At Home Laser. If you haven't heard of it before, it's a little handheld device with a small round tip, which delivers shots of non-ablative laser light into your skin to heat up your dermal layer to just under 46 degrees Celsius, according to the makers, with the aim of triggering the skin to produce more collagen as a stress response. And the idea is you do this pretty much every day with best results seen after two to three months. Three years ago, I used it to target the lines on my forehead and just based on what I was seeing in the mirror every morning, I didn't think that I'd experience significant results. But then, when we were comparing the before and after footage, I did notice that it had appeared to reduce the depth of the deeper lines on my forehead. I stopped using it after that trial and before too long, the lines were back to pretty much where they were before. Now the makers of the Nera have released a new improved model. It's called the Nera Pro and it's designed to target slightly larger areas, making it quicker to use. And its laser head is positioned slightly further back from the tip of the device. And it has a lighter power engine, making it harder to overheat our skin and it means treatment should be more comfortable. I use the new model daily for three months on my decolletage to see if I could reduce the darker pigmentation and lines and just generally rejuvenate the surface of my skin in that area. And today I'm gonna to share my results, talk about some of the more dramatic eye lifting results that other YouTubers have been sharing and what we might need to consider with long term use bringing in the perspective of aesthetic specialist, Dr. Emmeline Ashley too. So we're really digging in to how this laser works and as a result, whether I would use it long-term. So the new Nera Pro works very similarly to the old one in that it's cordless and you recharge it using a USB cable. You switch it on at the front and you choose from five power levels. Then you have to place it flat against your skin. And that can be a little fiddly. You sometimes have to readjust it before it will work, but you don't have to press anything to fire the laser. It senses when the tip is flat against your skin and will automatically flash as you move on. You know it's work when you feel a warm flush against your skin and then hear two beeps, which let you know to move to the next area. And then you just keep moving on to cover the whole area once in each session. Now for smaller areas like around the eye, this is only gonna take about a minute or so, but for my chest area, it took me more like three minutes. And three minutes is what Nira estimates it would take to do your full face. And I've gotta say, covering a larger area with this for 90 days in a row did get a little bit tedious. I can't sugarcoat that. What the makers say is that used on clean, dry skin daily, you should see fewer wrinkles on the area you're treating within days, with the full results being visible between eight to 12 weeks. But what exactly is the Nera laser doing? Well, while ablative lasers work a little more aggressively and therefore produce faster and more dramatic results by heating our skin's outer layer, uh, typically down to around 1.5 millimeters, Non-ablative lasers like the Nera create controlled wounds in the upper to mid-dermal layer to trigger a healing response in your skin and ideally an increase in collagen. The Nera is FDA approved and considered safe, but it's important to flag that the indications for use are for the treatment of periorbital wrinkles. So that's the area where we have most clinical evidence of it being effective. The company is founded by engineer and laser industry entrepreneur David Bean. His company, Seminex, has provided laser diodes for in-clinic machines for over 20 years. And he said that since most of these treatments uh, can be expensive, painful, and cause some downtime in recovery, he invented the Nera as an easy and painless alternative that can be used at home. The Nera heats the skin to the point where the dermal cells send out what's called a heat shock formation, which is a cell stress response. Nera says it does this just below the pain threshold and below the point where the tissue is damaged, hence why they say it's pain-free. But one thing to flag here is that if you use a higher setting, and I'm particularly talking about the original model here, a lot of users will say it's not pain-free and I found the old device quite nippy on the higher settings. This one 
is noticeably more comfortable. But when you're using devices like this, you want to make sure you're setting it to a comfortable level to avoid overheating your skin and getting any undesired effects. So you're feeling warmth, but no pain. David Bean says for best results, you should use the device for one minute a day on each eye and select the intensity that feels most comfortable on your skin. When I was using it on my chest, I was actually using it on level five without any discomfort. I just felt a warm flash as I was moving it on. Now let's take a look at Nira's published clinical study in which it was used to treat periorbital wrinkles, so the lines around the eyes and involved 76 participants. An improvement of at least one score was seen in 69% of subjects on wrinkles, so that's two thirds of users saw results and a third didn't. The study said that of the two thirds who saw some wrinkle reduction, 68% of them maintained some wrinkle improvement for at least three months after users stopped using the Nira. So the numbers experiencing longer term results were shrinking, but still significant. The study report goes on to say there were no unanticipated or severe adverse events noted. Adverse events reported included skin warmth and stinging, dryness and temporary skin colour changes where skin became darker in colour, but they said these were not unexpected. David Bean also says they've carried out biopsies that show the Nera is creating collagen within the skin. Now, the reason I'm digging into the duration of the results is that a few YouTubers have reported really visible results in eyelid rejuvenation using the original Nero, which they said has given them an obvious lift. But I was struck when watching one of these reviews that the YouTuber mentioned that after stopping using it for just three days following the initial full treatment period, her eyelids started to sag again. So the suggestion was, you just have to keep using it and you don't really take a break. When I asked Nero if they recommend resting the skin after the initial three month treatment period, they said they would can continue to use the Nira Pro at levels three to four long term without breaking. Now the experience of the YouTuber whose eyelids started to droop after three days of stopping use did make me wonder why there would be a sudden sagging. Well, here's what Dr. Emmeline had to say on this. Hi, Claire. So I had some thoughts. Um, look, I'm always going to be skeptical about home devices because the bottom line is that by definition, they cannot be as powerful as in-clinic devices. And a big reason for that is safety. So in lasers, there's always a potential risk if devices are used improperly, and those risks go up astronomically if you are dealing with medical treatments that are only meant to be performed by medical professionals like doctors. So if you have a laser that is available to the general public, I think logically, you know, you know that it's not going to be very powerful. And then the question is, does that then have a substantial benefit for our skin? The Nira laser is FDA approved. Um, but what we have to remember with cosmetic devices like this is that the FDA is more interested in safety, not in efficacy or how well it works. Now, the FDA is a very high benchmark, of course it is, but again, they're focused on safety. So the reason why the Nira Skin Laser was granted approval is because it doesn't vary greatly from devices that already exist on the market, which is what the FDA said. Um, the approval for its use to help the eye area uh, was based on a clinical study. I did try to find the study, find the protocol, find the full write-up. It just was not available. All I could find was a brief summary of the study, um, and it was quite revealing, but I wasn't that surprised. So the study looked at the use of the laser in 76 people, which in medicine is a tiny, tiny sample size, and it was an open label study. So what that means is that people knew which treatment they were getting. They knew if they were being treated with the Nero laser and they knew it was meant to improve the eye area. So in comparison to something called a randomized control study, which is the highest standard of evidence in medicine when we're looking at whether or not something works, those studies are specifically designed to remove any potential bias, any risk of the placebo effect, any chance of something happening where, say, I've been told this light treatment is going to make your eye area look amazing. And I'm very focused on the eye area, doing the treatment religiously, and I'm looking in the mirror and I'm thinking, I think, yeah, I think it does look better. That's, that's not robust evidence there. Um, so, Look, if you like this treatment, if you think it's making a difference, then 
go for it. I'm not going to say for sure that there's no potential benefit. Um, it's certainly not going to do you any harm. For me, is the evidence robust enough that I would personally buy this product or recommend it? Um, I don't think so. We all know that the skin can be temporarily plumped up with heat and energy. I don't think there's strong evidence that there's anything more going on here. So hope, hope that was helpful. Those are just my thoughts on that. Now, when it comes to my own results, having used the new Nera Pro for 90 days straight, here is my before picture on day one. And you might notice there's a deeper crease or wrinkle running down from my shoulder on the left of the picture. And there is quite a lot of pigmentation. 90 days later, there's a softening in that line and potentially a slight softening in the pigmentation as well, but not a total rejuvenation of that area. Now, it was actually later last year that I did this treatment over the three months. And since then, I stopped using the laser, but I've been using all my face products on my neck and chest as well. So vitamin C, blue lean, retinol, a callosum moisturizer. I take collagen and hyaluronic acid supplements. And I must say that that line is still faded. And I think the skin on my chest looks even better now that I've been applying anti-aging products to it and also making sure to apply sunscreen there as well. So the bottom line for me is that this device can achieve results, though the visibility of the results is gonna vary depending on where you use it and your skin type, which we really can't predict at the moment. But it has a lot of positive reviews for treating wrinkles around the eyes, although it appears to require daily or very frequent use long-term to maintain the results. For me, it's not so much a question of does it do anything, because we know that putting heat or energy into the skin will have an impact. The questions I ask myself are, do I think I can see myself standing doing this pretty much every day or very frequently? And secondly, do I think creating a stress response in my skin daily or very frequently long term is the best thing I can do to support its health and volume? For some, the answers to those questions might be yes. Personally, I couldn't see myself doing this, especially on a larger area like my whole face and chest on a regular long term basis. And I feel a bit cautious about using it around my eyes where there is most evidence for its effectiveness. But because I have worked to bring the volume back and improve the skin texture around my eyes, which are hooded, that's just how they've always been, but I have been able to reduce the sagging through my skincare routine. I've talked a lot on this channel lately about how I'm opting for gentler options for my skin that I can easily incorporate into my routine. That includes using a red light face mask for six minutes most nights, and I use it for six minutes because of this very enlightening discussion here with scientist and skincare founder Bev May Sanderson about the benefits and optimum use of red light. And I now also use a red light eye mask from Current Body for three minutes every morning. And because they're goggles, I can wear them while I'm exercising, so that is totally hassle-free. My husband does say when he walks in the room, he's either greeted by Darth Vader or a Power Ranger, but having poured over the science behind red light, which is also known as low-level laser therapy, I'm fully persuaded of its benefits and on board with it. With red light therapy, the results are more gradual because it's a gentler approach, and I find it really easy to incorporate into my routine and feel my skin is in great shape right now. When it comes to eye lifting, you might be encouraged to hear that although I have, as I said, genetically hooded eyelids, which were at one point sagging quite obviously, as per this photo, as I said earlier, I've been able to restore the volume through skincare and it continues to hold up. So I'll run through my entire routine in a video this summer and in the description below, I'll link to both the Nera and the red light devices I recommend, along with some of the other products I use regularly as part of my skincare routine. And I've got a few discount codes in there too. If you've used the Nera or another at-home laser device, do tell us about your experience in the comments. I love to hear your thoughts and opinions. And if you enjoyed this video, by giving it a thumbs up, you'll help it to reach more people. And if you haven't already, then by hitting subscribe, you can watch more reviews and interviews on this channel. As ever, Thank you for watching. I hope you found the video helpful and I'll see you next time.